guys, it's Gaming here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For this series, I'm gonna start a new game called The Park. It is actually a horror game. I haven't played anything like this before, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, let's see how the story is. I've seen... Uh... In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Some footage, uh, foot, footage of this, but nothing too consensual. Where's Mr. Bear? I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. Stay in the car. We'll go and ask information. Okay. Looks like a truck stop. Attention patrons, the park is now closed. Please make your way to the car park at your earliest convenience. Employees prepare the park for shutdown. Okay, it's not a truck stop, it's actually the entrance for an amusement park. Okay, weird. Yep, press A. Oh, damn. Those were inverted. Oh, Callum damn. was born the day this place opened. This is his favorite place in the world. A tribute to the untamed heart of Solomon Island. May this park be a place with joy and laughter. Okay, yada yada yada. Nice, we have read it. Just need to do... Um, yep. Nice. And also, no, yeah, nothing else. Now there we go. Um. Okay. What is it that we should? Nothing that I know of. No run button. Okay. Hmm. Don't think we're gonna do anything more over there and just getting back to the car. Man, could she go slower? No, I don't think so. What the crap? Now I know why I don't why I don't play these these kind of games so often as I probably should have, because I hate them. There should be a straight line of directions, nothing too fancy with uh, some other shit. Lorraine, don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath and think about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop! I think your boy just ran into the park. I'll unlock the gates for you. 
Okay, well they oh my god. Yep. Wait up there for mommy, Callum. Come on, mommy. Only one way up. So yep, let's take it. There's something special about the entrance to an amusement park. A line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. On this side, the apathy of our everyday lives. And on the other, anything we might dare to dream. It's no wonder Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. Attention employee, the park is now closed. Yeah, yeah like you even cared, bitch. Is she having a mental breakdown? Let's hope. Yeah, she did. Oh my god. Okay. Six minutes into the game and nothing ever oh happened. Oh nice. Fuck. Oh, what we can toggle here? running. Lovely. Shut up, kid. I will come and smack your ass. Yep. This woman was actually fucking slow. Can she run? Salmon shoe. Okay. I think this belongs to Calm. Oh my god. No, it doesn't have his name, so yeah, fuck it. Shad the chipmunk, huh? Just a drunk guy in a suit. Uh yeah. Probably. What's this? Oh, who the hell wrote that? A three year old with Parkinson? Okay, it's a amusement park at night. Okay, so yeah, what's the deal? Callum, stay where you are. No, keep running. Someone will come eat you. Come on, mommy. Oh, look, it's a ducky. Can I please get in? Wow. I think this duck needs an aspirin. It's a bit it's a bit slow. Get out, get. <clears throat> Near a great forest, there lived a poor woodcutter, his wife and his two children. A boy named Hansel and a girl named Gretel. They were very poor and had very little to bite or sup. Yep, and they died. What will become of us? The woodcutter asked his wife one night. 
I tell you what, husband, we will take the children into the thickest part of the forest tomorrow and abandon them there. No, no you should wife. eat them. I cannot do that, said the man. Then we will all four starve, you fool. Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking, and Gretel and ran away. Do not fret, Gretel, Hansel said. He crept out of the hut and gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. And jumped in the lake. The next morning, the woodcutter leads the children into the forest. Before they leave, their mother gives them a slice of bread and warns them that they will get no more food that day. Look, it's the Clever devil squirrel. A trail of white oh, no, keep away, keep away. The when their father leaves them, the children wait a while, then I'm going to gnaw your toes off. Parents' house. What's that? Camera? No. Nope. After receiving a thorough scolding from their parents for getting lost in the woods, the children are sent to bed without any supper. Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more white stones. Oh no, don't be naughty, no, little boy. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself, the wife told the woodcutter. In the morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. Okay, I, this, I guess this is part of the whole Hansel park story into pieces and left a trail of breadcrumbs to mode. lead them safely home. But Shit hungry thing. eyed birds snatched up the breadcrumbs and his trail was destroyed. Abandoned by their parents and unable to find the trail home, the children wandered in the forest for three days. Oh yeah. That's not the story I remember. The children stumbled into a clearing with an exceedingly strange house. Its walls were made of gingerbread, and its windows were panes of clear sugar. Hansel, desperately hungry, ran forward and began to nibble on the walls. Oh, he nibbled. Oh my god. Oh my god, he nibbled on it. at my house an old woman emerged from the house sniffing the air and peering around with cloudy eyes oh you dear children who brought you here just come in and stay with me no harm will come to you but Hansel and Gretel stayed back for the old woman reminded them of their cruel mother Come, children, don't be afraid. I have something for you. The old woman offered them two enormous lollipops. The children took them and began to eat. You see, nothing to fear here. Come inside, the old woman urged, and the children, still licking their sweets, followed. Once inside the house, the old woman changed. She stuffed Hansel into a cage and put Gretel to work, sweeping and cleaning her hut. Your brother will make a good mouthful, the old witch told Gretel. Once he is fattened up, I shall feast upon him. Oh, she's a cannibal. I wonder if passed, she is related to Hannibal Lecter. Used to eat, fearing the day that the Maybe. witch would eat him. The Maybe witch, his sister, for her part, grew impatient. Today, I will cook and eat your brother, Gretel. Climb inside and light the oven. But Gretel pretended not to understand. Uh, I do not know how. Where is the opening? Fool! The old witch said, the opening is here, and she moved to show Gretel. 
Seizing her courage, brave Gretel gave the witch a shove, and the old crone tumbled forward into the oven. Gretel right in the bump. A large iron bolt over the door to the oven. Oh yeah, I can see the light Gretel in the tunnel. Gretel her brother Hansel, and together <clears throat> lit a fire beneath the oven. And though she screamed and begged, the children sat by the oven until her screams had stilled, and the witch was cooked. Yeah. Pretty much. And then, because even children can't survive on sweets, they divided up the body of the old witch and ate her. And they were no better than he she was. Okay. That's a good child story. Oh look, the poor swan is is she's crying. Okay, and now what? Now we're taking this right. Should we go to the next one? Or should we just get the fuck out of here? Okie dokie. So, now what? I guess we have to go this way to get away from this. Hansel and Gretel. I used to read it to Callum when the electricity was shut off. Those poor children. The whole world against them. The forest, the birds, yeah, oh my God. the old witch, even their own parents. I used to imagine that Callum and I were the kids in that story. Not mother and son, but brother and sister, hand in hand against the unkind world. We were always hungry, looking for our own house made of candy. Looking for the sweetness that could take the pain away. Hunger leads people to desperate, terrible places where the tree branches reach like claws. Yeah, and then there were incest and people based the movie Wrong Turn on them. Yep, pretty much. That's the deal. So, yeah, what now? Another accident. This place. Can open the door. Oh, holy crap. Yeah, I read the note. Can we do anything else? No. Just get out of here. Yeah, I love you too. Looked like a mask of sorts. Oh, the octopus ride. Nice. Why is that one running? Something used to make the blood run to my head. It'd make me dizzy. The guy just snapped. Those poor kids. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, so I don't know if I need to read all of all of the papers I find or If I maybe can get to the story Otherwise I don't really know But yeah, it doesn't matter because we're gonna play this freaking game Right, Octotron. Uh, should I? Should I not? Oh! <laughs> Increase speed. Yeah. Increase some more. Nice.
Okay, we can decrease. Uh, pretty big amount. And also increase. I can't get on while it's moving. No. Shit. Sherlock. Okay, let's just decrease it. Can it just stop, please? But I wonder... How the hell do it start once I am on there? Yeah! Who started the, the coaster? Okay... Can I... Please get off? Or am I able to see anything about this? Maybe? Yeah, I'm having another nervous breakdown. Oh! He looked weird. The shortest ride I have ever been on. Okay, well enough. Okay. Can it stop so I can get out? Could you please let me out? Thank you. Up there is the Ferris wheel. Should we go to the Ferris wheel or this way? Ferris wheel. Yeah, okay, well, we were running actually. Actually. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, that one again. Treachery hides in thoughts. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled, red, bawling thing and I thought, is that it? We build our world from expectations and the world that I had built for Callum was no different. He was so real, so there, and so far from my expectations. They shattered, and as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous thought. Yeah, treachery is something you never want to get involved with. Oh, another page. Nice. Wait, Callum. <gasps> oh no. Excuse me, that's an ugly duck. Was it a mutate duck or I don't know. The science people with gene manipulation as their as their major concerning in life shouldn't be fiddling about with stuff. Constant crashes in 80s music. I guess it floats someone's boat. 
Okie dokie. And what's this? Is there any place I can go? Oh, that one is outside of the place. Cutscene. Cutscene. Okay. What the fuck is up with that? I don't know. Well, we're just gonna have to examine everything in this fucking park, I guess. Accident report. During transport, yada yada yada, blah blah blah. Francis was killed, okay. Yeah, that's some dude. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's see what? Bye bye. Yeah, um, guess we should go there. <laughs> Probably, since we can go pretty much everywhere. Okay, nothing to see there. Yeah. It's a matter of public record that I am a failure as a mother. Once, when Callum was very small, I left him asleep in the car while I ran an errand. Don't even remember what it was. When I came back, the sheriff was standing next to the car, watching my boy through the window. I didn't like what I saw in his eyes. Judgment. He wrote me the ticket without saying a word. Just the scratch scratch of his pen on the notepad. When he gave it to me, our eyes met. I know what you're going through. My daughter, Helen, she... Just get some help. Help was a bolt of lightning. Help was a thousand volts surging through my veins. Help is agony. I'd rather die. I wanted to scream. I'd rather you pulled your gun and shot me. But instead my mouth said, Yes, Sheriff. Yeah, 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 you suck. Okay, another page, and that freaking ride is running. Can we ride this too? Can I run? Thank you. Unless we bump into something. Look, it's waving at me. Hello! Can I ride? Yeah. Dad used to say that before mom ran off. 
After that, he mostly just drank. Yep. Things were different for Don and I. When we met, I was sweeping the floor at Susie's diner. He came in with some workers, but he didn't try to flirt or cop a feel like the others. He just ordered a coffee and sat there, watching me. When my shift was over, he offered to walk me home. I don't know how to describe that walk. He talked and laughed and eventually kissed. It felt like love. It felt like a fairy tale. No, it was just a creep. I can't tell you if Callum was made that night or one of the ones that followed. But I think it has to be that night. That one perfect night. Don and I moved in together, but then, well, he died. According to the supervisor, his safety harness failed when he was working on the top of the Ferris wheel. Don was there one moment, and then gone. Sometimes people leave your life for no reason. I was three months pregnant with Callum. Fairy tale fucking over. Yeah, pretty much. But you know what? You suck! See you again. Okay, I'm done. Thank you. Let me just get out of here. Because I don't need to be here. Here. Mm -hmm. Where are we going now? Okay, so the path continues straight on, and we just have to follow, pretty much. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. There is no way to get over there. Stop squeaking at me. Hmm. Okay, so I had to go all the way back. Oh my god. <clears throat> no. That's the wrong way. Excuse me? Oh, it was a stone. I thought it was something else. Uh, where the hell did I come from? Um, over here. Yep. Oh shit, it is dark. Like, looks like the, the lighting is pulsating, kind of. Mm. 
Yeah, because now we're down, down here again. Yeah, and nothing more over here to actually look at. Nope. Just get out on the path and uh, continue walking. So guys, I think we call it an episode for this time. Uh, my time is pretty much running out. So please just uh, hit the like button. Leave a comment if you want to see more of this, uh, and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe for um, more content to come. So, Isogaming, signing off. Bye-bye.